Hello, it is um, Wednesday and I have a cute kitty over here in a box. Is that your new box, Turtle? Don't eat my pen. I got a package today and she decided this is her new, her new uh, abode. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's Wednesday, I think. Um, now I understand why retirees never know what day of the week it is. When you're not working, it's like every day is Saturday and Sunday. Um, although this is work, this knee stuff. So as you might have heard yesterday, I had a very good doctor's appointment, success there. Um, you know, pretty good news all around. Um, I got up and down the stairs, so everything was decent. Um, not saying I'm not in pain, I am still, but not as bad. Uh, today it's about three o'clock now almost. And um, today I've been kind of just doing everything I normally want to do, I, well, not normally want to do, I'd be going out partying right now, but, you know, doing things I want to do, um, I did my therapy this morning, uh, the in-house therapist came, um, to give me, um, I don't know they call it, they, um, discharge you, so she had to do some paperwork with me, and she had to see how I was doing, you know, she gave me some more tips and tricks on how to do some things, I was telling her I had, I had this clicking in my knee, when I, when I start walking, no matter what time of day, if I get off the chair or the bed and I try to start walking, the first, you know, 10, 20, 30 steps, maybe depending on the day, it kind of goes click, click in my leg. It doesn't hurt. It just feels really weird. And it just doesn't, it just makes me feel a little bit off balance. But she said that's normal. And so she made me feel good about that. Um, so that was good. Um, and now she's officially discharged me uh, to the outpatient therapy starting tomorrow. I am looking forward to that, to see my friends at Athletico. Um, really great group of folks. I, and if they're watching this, because I think some of them do watch some of these. I love you guys. You're the best. I'm scared because it's going to be hard work, I know. But I'm also glad it's going to be with people I know, which is good. Like, not new people. They all, they all know me there, so that's, that's good. Um, other than that, uh, I did my physical therapy today. I didn't do the CPM, though, because she came at lunchtime. And then my husband has been working all day. He's been in meetings all day. Uh, he brought me up a little bit of lunch, but that's, I've hardly seen him today. So, um, but the good news is I don't need him all day, which is nice. Um, that's about it right now. I'm just icing my leg. And as soon as I'm done icing, I'm going to go walk around the upstairs again. And um, a couple of things I want to just point out. I don't really like to do it with my leg. Number one is thank God for Amazon. No matter what you think about Amazon, um, if you don't like Amazon, I apologize. But I have to tell you, it is such a pleasure to be able to say, oh, I need something. Well, I can't go out and drive and get it. Phil doesn't really, I don't really want him leaving me for long periods of time because we are the only people in this house. And if something happens to me while he's gone, just not good. So just yesterday, my pillow I had, um, we had these gel pillows, which are amazing. We've had them for, I don't know, a long time, maybe 10 years. We bought them in um, Sam's Club. And as I was sleeping yesterday, I woke up. I'm like, why does my head feel hot? And I turned around. I looked at my pillow. The gel exploded in my pillow. The whole pillow is gunky. It was disgusting. But it just had its last day, I guess. But I do love that pillow. I mean, 10 years worth. That's plenty. The pills is still good. So that was good. But I needed a new one. And this is, this is a pillow we had in the guest bedroom, which is really flat, which is not pleasant to sleep on. So I literally went on Amazon. I looked up the name brand. There it was. Boom. And guess what? It's sitting, I don't know if you see those boxes over there. There should be some boxes, two boxes. <laughs> That's the pillows. They came just now. So it's like, I need a pillow. Bing, tomorrow you get a pillow. I love that. I know it's really, um, some people get upset about that. I still also say, I don't want the stores to go out of business. I don't, you know, I still like brick and mortar, but it's so beautiful that I can just say, I want a pillow and I get my pillow the next day. So thank you, Amazon, for that. I also bought myself a fan with a remote control, which sounds again, very lazy, but when you're laying in the bed and you have a thing on your leg and a CPM machine and I'm sweating for some reason, I do have a fan over by my bed, but I'm like, Phil, can you turn the fan on for me? Phil, can you shut off the fan? Phil, can you, <laughs> poor Phil. This man is gonna get a medal when he's done with all this. And he jokingly said, you should have a remote control fan. <laughs> And I bought one. I got one. It just got delivered today. So I can go put that on my pedestal over there and I can just click the button now and I don't have to worry about bothering him anytime I'm hot or cold because I am older and sometimes I get hot flashes. Um, too much information, I'm sorry. But, you know, when you get that hot flash, you want to get a cool air on you. And then all of a sudden now it's too cold and you're like, my eyes are drying out. <laughs> oh, so it's, I just, uh, I wanted to thank Amazon. There you go. Thank you, Amazon. Um, next important thing. 
I noticed my video count of viewers is going down. I expected that, right? So because now I'm getting a little bit better and, um, you know, the, the videos are not as exciting, right? And, and hopefully after the therapy exercises and I start giving you some progress there, that might be more interesting to hear, not just I'm laying here and I'm doing this and that. Um, but again, the video that I wrote something like, I'm not naked in this video because it does look like it because I'm wearing a towel, but you can't really see. That got 253 views, which is not like Colleen Ballinger, 50,000. But that's the most views I've had on any of these videos so far. And you know what? Because it had the word naked in it. Isn't that sad? So, you know, darn well, somebody saw that and they, they searched for naked and they found my video and they, and they realized, oh, it's a knee replacement video. Why am I watching this? But I just kind of think it's so funny how many views that got compared to the other videos. <laughs> oh, society. But I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, last but not least, uh, I, wrote, I wrote these things down because I'm tired. Um, I'm not, tr I'm trying to do more functional things like walk around the house and um, on my off periods from PT, um, but I'm also reading some books I wanted to read and some, reading some magazines and some, some other things I want to do. But I did binge on some Netflix. I did. Um, I did it the first day Phil went back to work, um, so I wouldn't bother him too much. Um, so I don't know if any of you are Bridgerton, Bridgerton fans out there. And yes, that's a little racy sometimes. Um, but I watched all the Bridgerton so far and they, I didn't realize there was a new one called Queen Charlotte, which is about, uh, like a backstory of the queen. Oh my goodness. It was so good. <laughs> I literally binged the whole damn thing in one day. Um, so I don't know if any of you are Bridgerton fans out there, but if you, if you do like Bridgerton, you didn't realize it was out there like I didn't realize. Queen Charlotte. I highly recommend it. Or if you haven't watched any of the Bridgertons, I do recommend watching those. They're just so good. Uh, Shonda, I forget her last name, but the Shondaland pictures. She's, all her stuff is so good. I, I really, I love it. I think that's all I had to say. Um, oh, only other thing I wanted to say was this. I'm going to make it pretty short. Actually, it's not that short. It's already seven minutes. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, same routine the rest of today, unless something crazy happens, I'm not going to blog anything else, but you know, we're going to do my exercises and do my CPM machine and have some dinner and watch TV and the usual. But I was thinking about, you know, I'm off now, this will be my third week I'm off of work. Oh, I, my, my phone got cut off. But anyway, it's my third week off of work and, or this will be the third week and I have six to eight, right? Before I have to quote unquote, go back to work. Um, so it's still quite a, nice, a lot of time to hopefully heal up and get better and all these things. But I have to tell you, I think people think you're on vacation. Like, oh, it must be so nice to have the time off. Now, admittedly, it's nice to have the time off so you can get well. And so you can, you know, prepare yourself to get better. But yes, I'm watching a little TV. And yes, I'm, you know, reading a book I'd like to read, which I don't get to do when I'm working. But I still feel like after this is all over, even though I, you know... I've gone through all this therapy and everything else. I need a vacation, right? You would think that that's not the case, but I feel like, oh my God, once my leg is actually working well and I'm comfortable going up and down stairs and I'm comfortable walking around without a cane or whatever the case may be, I want to go on a damn vacation. <laughs> so it's like, they want you to go back to work and I'm, I'm going to go back to work, but I'm going to be like, okay, I'm back at work, but I'm going to start my vacation like two weeks from now because I need that break. I, I'm really only two, three weeks into this and I'm just like, I want to get out of here. I want to go do something. I want to enjoy the weather. So isn't that weird? It's like, you know, it, people think you're on vacation because you're off work, but you're really not. And it's a torture session. And then you, you when you go back to work, you're going to be like, I want a vacation. But that's just my two cents. How do you feel about that? All right. That's all I have to say today. I hope you guys are, are doing well. Thanks for watching again. Maybe I should just put sex in the title on this one. See if I get more views. <laughs> I won't do that. I'm a Christian girl. Not that Christian, non-Christian girls can't do that. <laughs> See, I always got to be careful. You got to be politically correct on everything you say. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you one more funny story, then I'm going to shut up. When the therapist came in today, she's from the Philippines. She's the nicest woman you ever want to meet. We were laughing it up, even though we were done. We were just talking about our kids and my, you know, my family. We were just talking about everything and everything. And I was explaining to her how flexible, I mean, I'm heavy set, but I'm flexible. I told her I could even sit. You ready? This is exactly what I said. I said, I can even sit Indian style with no problem before my knee surgery. And she goes, Indian style? What does that mean? Right? Because she's in the Philippines, right? And I'm like, and I looked at her and I thought about it. And I said, oh my God. I said, I just realized, first of all, you probably don't understand what I just meant by that. 
But secondly, that's really politically incorrect what I just said. And now I know people who are my age or older are like, yeah, relax. But it's true. We used to say when we were little kids back in the 70s, we used to sit Indian style. The teacher would literally say, go sit Indian style in in a circle. Meaning, you know, in like a lotus position, like if you're thinking about yoga. Because in all the pictures, the American Indians were sitting around the teepee, sitting Indian style. So that's what we called it, right? How terrible. I mean, right now we know that, but then we thought it was just, that's what we said, right? So it's just, it's just weird how the world is so different today and how you got to be really careful what you say. And, and, and the main thing there was she didn't know what I meant because she's in the Philippines, right? So she doesn't know American Indian and, and understand what we say, we say things like that. So I feel really bad about that. But at the end of the day, I think it was a woke moment for me. Oh no, a woke moment. But it's true that I probably shouldn't say Indian style. That's probably not the right way to say I'm sitting, you know, lotus position or I don't know. I don't know. I try to be a good person. I I think everybody does, and sometimes you just slip. Um, But anyway, that's all I have to say today. I'm sure somebody will make a comment about that, or maybe not. Um, But if you're my age, you might have said that when you were a little kid. All right, guys. We will be having our first outpatient therapy tomorrow, so I will definitely do a report off after tomorrow um, and see how that all goes. All right. Have a good night. Bye.